former Kenyan musician turned cabinet secretary, Charles Njagwa Kanye, popularly known as Jaguar, recently made a disrespectful comment about singer Akothi's wealth in an interview. He implied that Akothi is not the richest musician in Kenya and came into the music industry when he had already made a lot of money. Akothi took to social media to clap back at Jaguar's remark with a sharp response. Is that nowadays I am packaged, but I have not dropped my rubbish. If you want rubbish, you will get a garbage as well. Okay? I am rich and I am rich and I am I the measure of richness. Am I the measure of richness? If you are a good one, you will be a good one. Are we in a competition? Now let me tell you if you hear any man start comparing themselves with a woman, that is a man without an identity. Cross. Cross over Mr. Man. First and foremost, before you even compare yourself with a woman, grow a womb. Grow a womb, carry pregnancy for nine months, then you will know what a strength of a woman is. When we say that the government is not quite irrelevant, we can only become relevant because of mentioning Akode's name. You wanted my fame. I want to give you a whole week of fame. Mimi na wewe. Rubbish. Idiot. You just wake up. And you just you just vomit my name just like that. Eh? You, do you have a pool? Do you have, do you even know how much it costs to, to maintain a pool for, for that matter? Eh? Rubbish! Idiot! You don't have an identity. That is why it's only a cause that can make you relevant. Don't think I don't know. Everybody will tell me, oh, that is what you wanted. Now I'm gonna give you exactly what you want. I know I've been a threat to you all this year round. I know it. Even when we meet, you always feel like running away. Today I'm available for you. Eh? All the celebrities who, not all, sorry, some celebrities, I know, the uh, likes of Jalango are for real for the people. He really wants to create a change because he's a philanthropist and he also has a good heart. And he has some brains. Kuna vitu tu zimeokolewa loyalist. Zimeokolewa jana. Walikuwa kwa parliament for five years. We never even had one voice. Nothing for five years. You failed the elections the other day. Now you are coming here to say how rich you are. You, if I just stand with you in any city, and even in your own county, I will defeat you. I will defeat you yesterday in the evening. Even that position you've been given. If it was to be done an exam, I swear, Ungeba Kijana. Rubbish. Am I in your tears? Eh? Am I one of the terms of reference that you are appointed for? Now you wake up and go vomit in the studio. I'm richer than a kode. You are swearing and you are a man. Swearing of being better than a woman or whatever the case is. It means you don't have identity. You don't have self-esteem. You have not reached your self-actualization. You don't know exactly what to do, where, when. See, I could get okay to press conference. You come here and tell me rubbish. You can bring all those your gangs. Pick the goat himself. Pull diamond. Come when you mutu. Eh? Pull diamond. Come when you mutu. Unaenda ku 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 unaanzia chini. Start from the top. Naenda ku kupanga mimi. Unafikiri hizi ni za mazile za mziki. Mziki uliisha kitambo. Acha na mziki wewe. Kaa kwa politics. Huko. Acha huko sijui kama utakati na another three years. Sijui takuwaje. Because I don't even know any execution plan, whether you have any roadmap. I don't, I don't know. I don't see, I don't see, I want to be sincere with you, Mr. Man. I don't see any qualities of a leader in you. Really, I just see you as a joke. I'm sorry, I know we are in the same ministry, but me, I'll tell you, anytime, any day, call police. Rubbish. <laughs> Idiot, all of you don't have brands. That's why you always hang on a kode. 
you even have less than 2 million followers, you're coming here to open your mouth and say how rich you are in music. You're supposed to go and talk to the likes of the CMOs and MCSK and even have a press conference with artists. Teach them how they can now make themselves into brands so that they can earn money. Huh? It's not your time right now to go into studio and start looking for cheap collabs and looking for cheap relevance for it to be relevant. You should be in parliament right now, huh? passing on bills. For artists to be paid by the government. Rubbish. You Akothi, do. Next time I born you, Esther you Akoth, is a Kenyan singer, songwriter, and businesswoman. She started her music career in 2008 and has since released hit songs such as Sweet Love, Oyoyo, and Yuko Moyoni. She is known for her flamboyant lifestyle and extravagant fashion sense. She is also a philanthropist and runs the Akothi Foundation, which supports various causes such as education, health, and poverty alleviation in Kenya. What did Jaguar say about Akothi? In an interview, Jaguar was asked if Akothi is the richest musician in Kenya. He responded by saying that Akothi came into the music industry when he had already made a lot of money. His remark implied that Akothi is not the richest musician in Kenya and that her wealth is not entirely from her music career. How did Akothi respond to Jaguar's remark? Akothi took to social media to clap back at Jaguar's disrespectful remark. In a post, she wrote, Never ever compare yourself to a woman. You should have a uterus first. Her response highlighted the gender bias in Jaguar's remark and the fact that being a woman in the music industry is often more challenging than being a man. She also reminded Jaguar that wealth is not measured by how long someone has been in the music industry or how much money they made before someone else came into the scene. Why is Akothi's response significant? Akothi's response sheds light on gender inequality in the music industry and society at large. Women in the music industry often face more significant obstacles than their male counterparts, such as discrimination, sexism, and sexual harassment. Akothi's success as a female musician and businesswoman is a testament to her hard work, talent, and perseverance. Her response also sends a message to other women that they should not tolerate disrespect and discrimination, and they should speak up for themselves.